Okay, we're back, and then um, I was saying painting the painting around the black would be the next thing to do. It is somewhat easier. No, it's noticeably easier. That is to say, it's noticeably easier <laughs> when you actually painted the black properly, the strap. I kind of screwed that one up a little bit. I still don't know if I'm actually going to paint these guys as cavalry or officers. One thing I do know though is that their accoutrements have to be painted. And for that, I'm going to choose, let's go with a honey brown.
just realized I missed one of the collars. So this is the other side of the uh, coin. <laughs> <laughs> this is the other side of the figures. Uh, I started, uh, I just showed you painting the one side, and uh, now we are going to paint. Excuse me, I had a piece of plastic caught in my mouth. No, I'm just kidding. Um, paint the other side. Now, what I'm going to do first is I am going to uh, paint the black. As I've said before, you'll notice that the black is a little bit more watery this is from the other day and uh, it's flowing um, much easier than usual There's um, cartridge boxes or other types of bags attached to these guys. Um, I'm going to not paint them in a shiny black like I'm using now. Um, so that was black. We'll hold off on the brown until the black has dried. We'll do some other detailing right now. Notably, let's go ahead. Whoops, actually, you know what? There's one thing missing. Now, there's another point here. Uh, you could, if you wanted to, use a Sharpie marker for black lining. I've done that a lot. And I'm only using black paint like this right now um, to show a traditional uh, methodology. There is a white marker. Um, there are paint markers, but those paint markers are sometimes defective. Where's my charcoal? That's right. You try to make the paint flow, and uh, it goops out of it. It falls out of it because of the design. We wish they were designed differently, better, but they're not. They're called paint markers, and there are different kinds of them. You have to just find the one that works for you. Um, Let me show you the charcoal. The paint markers. There's also a there's also a pen. Now this is the charcoal, which also can be the color of one of a horse, by the way. See the guy's little canteen right here? Little canteen. Traditionally, that is a canvas colored tin or wood container.
we'll paint that and again these are artillery cavalry to actually distribute the paint I know it sounds odd but it's true now also gloves You'll notice, oh, Terry, you went over this guy's glove. You painted his cuff. Why? Why are you so sloppy? Okay, I'll tell you why. Because in order to get the yellow to show properly, like red or other colors like that, you need to actually paint the item, especially if you're doing zouaves with their colorful piping and so on um, you actually need to overpaint and give or underpaint actually give their um, gloves or where that yellow is going to be give that a white undercoat Also, there are times when I will just simply get fed up with a brush and toss it. I want to see that Confederate yellow. Sometimes if you trim the brushes too much you do end up trimming some brushes you trim them down so far that they don't become brushes anymore and you just have to get rid of them that's what I meant I try to save a brush by getting rid of some of the bad wayward bristles and eventually uh, it just doesn't work put them on the game table and we'll have a either a confederate officer and a soldier and a flag person or we'll have a confederate cavalry uh, squadron something of that nature 